Welcome to Vention Tips. Today, we'll be walking through our Cobot and Industrial Palletizer Machine app. The Palletizer Machine app offers an intuitive, web-based simulation experience that guides you through the process of optimizing your pallet stacks. And with that, let's delve into the customization possibilities. To get started, visit palletizer.vention.com. This interface mirrors our Vention Palletizer Machine app allowing you to familiarize yourself before deployment. Before adding boxes, switch to the Preferences tab to choose the units you would like to proceed with, then return to the configuration. The first step will have you creating your boxes used in your stack palette. Do this by clicking on Add New Box. Here, you can name your box, set its dimensions, and specify a weight. Remember, a box can't be saved without its weight as it's crucial for the robot's movement. Some locations require boxes on stacked pallets to be easily identifiable with their labels facing outwards. If this is a requirement of yours, you can select up to two sides that contain labels from the menus on the right. The application will then ensure that this side faces the exterior of the pallet during the palletizing process. For open trays or open top boxes that require a side grip end of arm tool, Select the Open Tray option. This ensures that the robot will plan the palletizing path accordingly. For boxes whose weight is not distributed evenly, or whose contents are loosely packed, you can adjust the palletizer's acceleration using the slider. This ensures that the contents of the box are not displaced during movement. Once complete, click Save and the box will appear in the Box Summary section. To create additional SKUs, repeat the previous steps. You can add, remove, or edit SKUs as often as needed. Once all of your boxes have been added, it's time to create your slip sheets. This process follows the same flow as box creation. From the new sheet page, you can rename it as well as set its thickness. You also have the option to toggle if the sheet is rigid, which will impact how the pallet hazard interacts with it. Once complete, click Save and the sheet will appear in the Sheet Summary page. With the slip sheets configured, you can move on to configuring your pallet size. The standard American and European pallet sizes come preset here. However, for custom sizes, use Add New Pallet, then input the required dimensions and save. Now, it's time to configure your layout. In this step, you'll configure how each type of box will be arranged on the pallet to create a single layer. Click Add New Layout and you'll be presented with an empty pallet that you can then name. To create a layout for a different configured pallet, select it from the menu on the right. From here, you can also select a box type. You should note though, that only one type of box or SKU can be used to create each layout. Boxes can either be arranged manually or through Vention's auto layout algorithm. It's normally recommended to use the automatic layout generator. However, if you intend to not use the maximized footprint of the pallet, you should opt for the manual layout method. To continue manually, click Add Box and drag it to the desired location on the pallet. By default, each additional box will automatically snap to one another. This feature can be toggled with the Enable Snap checkbox. The gap distance is an editable parameter that ensures a set space around each box, providing pallet stability and preventing collisions during palletizing. When adding new boxes, you have the option to change their orientation by clicking on the Rotate button. If two boxes overlap in your layout, they'll turn red to indicate the error. Drag the boxes apart in order to resolve the misconfiguration. Multi-select lets you edit multiple boxes simultaneously. Select all the boxes you would like to interact with first, then you can use the same navigation controls as before to alter all of the selected boxes at once. To align your completed layout with the pallet, click Center at the bottom of the app. Click Save to have your layout registered and displayed in the Layout Summary section. If your palletizer is equipped for multi-box pickups, you can choose to insert either two or three boxes simultaneously using Add Multi-Pick. You can insert them stacked lengthwise or widthwise. These grouping of boxes will act as a single entity and will function with all previously shown placement controls. 
This will have your palletizer pick up multiple boxes per pass as opposed to a single one. You can mix single and multi-pick placements in a layout. However, you should make sure that your palletizer is able to do so first. To use the auto layout feature, create a new palette layout, select your palette and skew type, and select auto layout. The auto layout algorithm optimizes the number of boxes on the palette given the specified gap distance while ensuring that the robot path avoids collisions with previously placed boxes. You will then have the option to select the auto layout type. All forward will place the box in the orientation that it comes down the conveyor. All rotated will rotate every box 90 degrees as it comes off the conveyor. Optimized will take into account the dimensions of the pallet and box along with the label visibility requirements to create the best possible layout. Click Generate to see the selected layout. Adjustments can be made manually if necessary. With this complete, we can move on to the final step, creating a pallet stack. These will be the combined layers that make up the finished pallet itself. After editing your stack name, select the pallet you will be creating a stack for. Only layouts for this pallet type will be available when creating your stack. From there, you have two options for building your stack, using the simple stack, which uses only one layout type for the whole palette, or advanced, which allows you to use different layouts for each layer. For the simple stack, select the layout and the number of layers you would like your palette to have. Finally, choose the orientation for odd or even layers. Layers can be rotated 180 degrees, mirrored vertically, or mirrored horizontally. It's recommended to change one of these fields as alternating layouts provide greater palette stability than individual columns of stacked boxes. To create a palette stack that has a combination of different layouts, select the Advanced Stack option from the menu. With this, each layer of the stack can have a unique layout and layer behavior. Additionally, slip sheets can be added between each layer and at the bottom of your palette. These provide additional stability for your palette stack. Clicking Save will register your palette configuration and return you to the Stacks Edit page. Once all stacks have been completed, you can move to the Summary section to see the detailed specifications of the resulting palette. Clicking on Download will save the palette configuration to your computer. This can then be uploaded directly to your Vention Pendant via USB key or to the Machine Motion via Ethernet cable. Note that you can revisit any step throughout the process, however, altering parameters may prompt a reset in layouts and stacks that use that box, pallet, or slip sheet. And that wraps up our tutorial on Vention's Palletizer machine app. Thank you for watching, and happy designing!